guys, it's Nikita. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday, so I'm going to create a makeup and hairstyle tutorial. And I totally got inspired from Sharmila Tekor's look from the movie, like that's a Aradna movie. So if you want to know like how it is going to turn out, then you have to keep watching this tutorial, guys. So here we go. First, you need to use a moisturizer to prep your skin properly, as there should not be any dry patch on your skin. I'm just doing a massage on my face. And next I'm using a aloe vera gel for more hydration boosting and this is from Jiva and the moisturizer which I've used that is from Nivea. Third step is using a primer for a long lasting makeup like the foundation has to be stick on the base makeup for that reason I am using primer from a Miss Claire. It's a silicone base primer. And next I am using the MAC Prep Plus Prime setting spray before a foundation application and this also work as a primer too. So just to you know make my makeup long lasting for that reason I'm following all the procedures to you know prep my skin as much as I can do. After doing all the skin care like prepping then I'm going to use a foundation from forever 52. I mix two shades one is from FLF 07 and second is FLF 13. So I mix two shades and this is a dewy foundation so that if in case you come under the category of a dry skin you should always go for a oily base foundation. One more thing I want to say as a tip like if you use a liquid foundation or a cream based foundation you have to take it on a palette or your back of your palm so that if in case there's oil or anything it will just get into your hand and there would not be excess product would come on your face so that's how it would work and it would not even turn out into a grayish or a dark makeup for a long time for long hours. As I'm blending from a brush so that I need a more and higher coverage and if you use from a beauty sponge you would get a medium coverage as beauty blender does you know absorb the product. So now I'm concealing my under eyes going to use a color corrector from Derma D34 and this is a orange peach shade. And then I'm going to use this concealer from Elegal. It is in the shade Pure Beige. I'm going to do it on the color corrector which I have done above of it. And for the under eyes, I'm using this highlighting concealer from Maybelline. It is in the shade Scent 20 to get more highlighting on the under area of the eye. And then you need to set all the concealer which you have applied. I am applying on the under eyes with a sponge and this is from Forever 52 Banana Powder. Now 
now i'm contouring from elegal and the shade is beautiful bronze I'm blending both contouring and highlighting from the beauty blender. After doing proper blending, I'm using this Revolution Blush on palette. It is a peach shade which I'm using. After doing a proper base makeup, we'll use a setting spray again that is from MAC Prep Plus Prime to you know set the makeup. So now time to do the brows and the eye makeup. First I'm doing a brow and I'm going to use one technique as many artists have been using this technique. So it's a simple thing to shorten the brow from the inner and the outer ends. I'm using a soap and taking a spoolie brush and going to rub on the soap and just stick it on the front and the end corners so that you know I can do a concealer properly. Using this Nykaa color corrector palette and from the flat brush I have taken this banana shade and applied on the front and the end corners like depending on the size how much I want my brow shape should be. taken that Maybelline concealer for more coverage Then I'm filling my brows with a wet and wild pencil that is a medium brown shade and I have definitely given a very precise and pointed brows. And have done the another brow off camera because it is really very time consuming and I don't want to bore you for that reason I did it off camera it have taken me a lot of time to you know do a perfection like it has to be similar symmetrical a lot of things when you do a brow you have to keep it in mind that it has to be perfect because a brow can really be a game changer of your look And 
and also use the Maybelline nude eyeshadow palette and have taken the two shades that is a brown and gray one to get more intensity to my brows and now doing an eyeshadow have we uh, used this NYX contour and highlight palette use that first shade brown one on my crease and banana shade the concealer and then set it with a powder like a banana powder which I have used from the same palette and the very important thing to create this look is doing a proper bold wing liner and I have used this forever 52 black gel liner So guys for doing a wing liner it takes time and also lots and lots of practice like I have been doing for many years for that reason I have a good practice and if you are trying this then even you need practice so don't think on why I am not able to do it perfectly it will happen one time like if you do a practice practice only will make you perfect in a wing liner and then using the same gel liner on my lower lash line. And I am using a concealer on my lips and till that time I have been doing my lash curling and applying a mascara. And now I'm using a lipstick from Lakme. It is in the shade Nude. And the last step is using a an highlighter. And I'm using from Huda Beauty, my favorite highlighter again and just highlighting my high points of my face, my cheekbone, my brow, bone and wherever I need an highlighter, I've used a highlighter. Now time for creating a hairstyle. If you do only makeup and there's no hairstyle, you are not going to achieve this look. Hairstyle and makeup both goes hand in hand. So just have done the partition on both the side and just have taken from the back from my crown area like a bit of section and just doing a back combing to you know create a bouffant for doing a bouffant you really need to do a back combing properly on each side and you need a practice again for this too for creating a bouffant on every side you need to back comb you just need to take the comb downside and just make a gucha of it in simple term if i say just you need to make a tangles and just do it pin up from the back this is how you would create a bouffant
then with the ponytail i'm just making it into a three strand braid एंड जो भी हेयर बाहर निकले उसको मैंने यूपिन से इंसर्ट कर दिया है सो गाइज दिस इज माई फाइनल लुक एंड आई हैव इंजॉयड अ लॉर्ड वाई मेकिंग दिस लुक एंड ट्रूली इंस्पायर्ड बाई शर्मिला टेगोर्स लुक फ्रॉम आराधना मूवी एंड आई होप यू ऑल्सो फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टू एंड इफ यू फाउंड इट प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लाइक बटन शेयर कॉमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड इफ यू आर डूइंग प्लीज हिट दैट बेल आइकन सो दैट यू आर ऑलवेज अपडेटेड विद ऑल ऑफ माई वीडियोज गाइज सो स्टेट इन फॉर माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई लव यू सो मच